you have your own professional videographer here. Um, just cleaning up. This is AK-74. 5.45 by 39 caliber. Um, and obviously this is a Mosin. 1926. X Mosin. Um, not really very special guns, but I did shoot some corrosive ammo out of this one today. And that one. So I'm going to clean them up. Um, a lot of guys on here or on YouTube say, well, you gotta, you know, you gotta use water, you gotta use, you know, use Windex or whatever. Um, boy, I tell you what, it's hard for me to pour water down the barrel of any gun, even if it is a $100 Mosin. But the thing I like to use, and I found works really well, is this Birchwood KC Black Powder Solid. You can see right there it says water-based formula, which is good. It says for muzzle and breech loaders, doesn't matter. And if you read its little disclaimer here, it says for mercuric primer residue. Okay, you can see that right there. And uh, I found just unscrew its little cap and then dip um, your brush into its solution right here I have a brush that'll work with my uh, AK-74 so we'll just dip her in when you come out you'll be able to just run that down the barrel a few times and I plan to do the same thing with the Mosin I, I just have it field stripped right here I don't have the gas block or anything off the thing I've noticed with this corrosive ammo is as long as you get the barrel clean that's good enough. I mean, you don't always have to take the gas block off and all that shit. You just get the barrel clean. That's where the rifling's at. That's where the corrosiveness will hurt. And the Mosins, I believe, have a chrome lined barrel anyways, so you don't really have to um, fuck around, but this one here is from 1926 so I just kinda wanna make sure I clean it up good so the other thing I will say too is try and avoid buying these piece of shit screw together gun rods you can see this one right here busted off uh, if you put any kind of pressure on them they will bust you can see right here at uh, at the little hinge can see it's bent so I advise against buying that shit but let me clean it up and uh, I'll show you how I do it 